And welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play. Still playing some Andromeda. Uh, we got our uh, one of our dad's first memories here. We want to play some of that shit. See what we got cooking in the old brain pan. What's up, Sam? What's, uh, what's in there? Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? That's kind of yes. cool. You will experience them via your implant. Okay. Something new every day. <laughs> I love how she rolls with this. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Oh, fun. You see the Citadel again. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. For what? If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. Oh, you AI developed AI system. for war. We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Yeah, for reasons. Their rules, not ours. <laughs> Why deny Earth oh. advantage? Oh, wow. Oh. Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Mm. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. Or they take us over. Yeah. To revolt against. Yes, there is. You still have bodies. We're still the creators. You take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. Thank you. I know it. No, you are a sane person. No. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not with you, Dad, on this one. This this could easily have backfired. Like we see that it doesn't. Ellen, but what the doctor say? still. Ah. Well, fuck. She's gonna make our mom into an AI. Or <laughs> that's what the, that's what his plan is, I think. Wow, hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. That's oh, rather abrupt, but like, it's terminal. I'm Damn. dying. <laughs> I don't really like either option on this one. <laughs> I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, she says as if she's automatically accepted now that he exists. Mm -hmm. I wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. <laughs> Private Thanks, Sam. Are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. So where are you anyway, Sam? You're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. As long as there's not a thunderstorm. Wait, quantum entanglement communication wasn't a thing until Mass Effect 2. Yeah, but AIs weren't a thing until Mass Effect 2 either. Mm, okay. I'm getting a little weirded out in the timeline here, but all right. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data so please don't step on those acid baths again. Mm. Analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? Trust is an important concept in any relationship. I mean, technically we already did that. We died for a bit. I not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. I need your brain. More than you. Do you know anything more? How is old Scott? <laughs> I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing Scott with the very best care possible. Not an answer. There is nothing more to be done at this time. Hmm. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. 
But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? By breaking the law, I'm guessing. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So there are other Sams out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. Well, one of you is evil. I know that for sure. <laughs> I don't know if it's you, Sam, but one of you is fucking evil. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, yeah, we know what a symbiotic relationship is. And will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. Makes you as good as Shepard. Okay. But, like, Shepard just comes up like, yeah, you, I didn't need any fancy AI to, to make me a badass. That's all for now. Of course. Is that, that's all for now? Is that going to be her I should go? Mm, yes. That's all for now. That is all for now. That's all for now. That's all for now. That's all for now. Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Front. Shepard. All right, so we got to make our, our first family trip here. Or, or, uh, no, wait. No, that was the secrets one. We can probably get rid of that. Oh, I... yeah, that's our other optional thing. So we got to go into our main one, right? Yep, so circle so out of that. that's uh, other things. So primary ops, a better beginning. So we need to... Wait a minute, we just did that. No. no oh, we... we need to speak with Sam on the Hyperion. Yeah. Oh. We need to okay. go back to our ship. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Sam, I want to go to the Hyperion. I want to go to the Helios Galaxy. We're not on our ship, Ryder. Oh. Right. How do, I, how do I get to the ship again? Oh, my God. It's like walking a toddler. Why did I get, why did I get implanted with a moron? I should have went with the unconscious one. Is it too late to unfree, Scott? <laughs> I do like we can fucking run in the, uh, in the actual... Uh, what do you no, call it? Like the, oh shit! Yeah, I, I fucked up. I like that we can actually run in the uh, uh, citadel type areas. The, like the, the citadel, yeah, the uh, civilian areas. If only we could rocket boost, that'd be way more fun. All right, turn around. Right, fuck, fuck, fuck that all up. Try again on that one. We gotta hit that one right there. The docking bay. Got it. We might finally get some action pretty soon. Nope. Oh. First, we have to contact Cora. Cora's up. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. Just the way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. Yeah. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. So let me guess, we get a really bulky looking machine that's supposed to drive well. Fuck you, Mako 2.0! They call her the Tempest. Nope, that's Hello, a, beautiful! That, that's a ship. I like the ship. We're gonna explore the shit out of places with that thing. Mm. There's our penis-inspired exploration device. Mm -hmm. Let's go take a closer look. Let's jump on this baby. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. <laughs> you think they'd already had this stocked? I mean, come on. The one is making everything happen. Vetra, Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. And squad mate based on that introduction, right? Here the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Why not? Uh, why? What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Uh-oh. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Is something wrong? 
Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Oh, she's gonna take you all back, dude. Came here with the family, didn't you? <gasps> Son still in cryo? Okay, I that, that actually turned out better than I thought. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, really. Didn't she do that? I think she's lying on her ass. He wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Smooth <laughs> news. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. Lying on her ass. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. I do like how we go through like three whole entire games without ever seeing a female Turian, and now it's like every now other everywhere. Every other Turian is female. I'm like, yes, much better. I did love the like. Ah, oh, let's just get out of here. Hold on a sec. Shit, damn it. Almost. So close. Hello, is Liam not coming with us? No, Liam should be on the ship, right? No, no, Liam, I hope so. Liam's got to be on the ship. Where else we can get our infinite supply of grenades? He was a—he uh, was our first god mate. He's our Jacob of the universe. No, he's cool. I like him. <laughs> You've only met him for like thirty seconds. You already like him more than Jacob. I remember his name. So yeah. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. Glad to see you came aboard, right? sexy void voice. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. He's calibrating the things, right? Room. Calibrating. For upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection. Why do we feel like we're gonna be on this ship a lot then? Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. I don't know when he comes around. Woo! It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. Ooh. Shiny things? When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Okay, but if he's not entertaining Cripple, I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> they can't all be bone brittle jokers. Uh, what an interesting design for the ship. Yeah. It's like a conference room, honestly. Huh. Huh. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Oh, hey, we can actually go to the strike team missions. Oh, from here. Cool. Liam, buddy. What's up? Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys, useful ones. I'm all about what's useful. Oh, this is, especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat. We grab some random things. Raw minerals, tech doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. Cool. Options are good. We need more of those mm -hmm. for everybody. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Here it is. Research and development. Development selects craft equipment, upgrades, normal shit. Whoa! Oh, here's where we can use those mods, apparently. Huh. Oh, I think I accidentally... You, you prepped something. something. Congratulations. That was fast. No blueprints available. Assault rifles, armor... Maverick. Interesting. Looks like we need more shit, though. Yep. The research, like... Weapons. Uh. 
Each research category has different research data. Switch categories are well, okay. Ooh. Lube. Tch. Gun projectile augmentation may then during the Interesting. Well, I think we need more shit for any of this. Yeah. Milky Way research data. <laughs> so we got, we need credits or whatever. Oh no, we need research data. So that's the, that's the thing we need. And all that shit. Mm-hmm. Unless there are more people to talk to around here. There's gotta be more peoples. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen and keep any specimen safe. Yeah. Handy. Specimens, huh? You foreshadowing. Dun dun dun. Wonder how fast that engine cool for. It is indeed very boss. Boss. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Hmm. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up, Liam? Oh, instead of a <laughs> instead of an elevator, there's actual ladders. Hmm. Interesting. Climbing like a pleb. Woo! There's a door. Kitchen! And of course, like every kitchen needs, a random gun. Just Who left case. this here? Who says it's not supposed to be there? Clean up your shit. The crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. I room, eh? Anyone want to help me move a couch? <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> never a joke. So apparently we just have little info boards where our characters make little jokes. Like a fucking uh, uh, regular office. Yep. And I swear to God, Cora, if you steal my fucking muffins from the, from the uh, communal fridge again... I will stab you. Hmm. Shiny. Skill respec. Oh. oh, so you can respec. Cool. So we can mix and match and, and screw around with skills. Yeah. That's neat. Does it cost us anything? Mm. Yep. Credits. Yeah. All right. We'll save that for later. Which may or may not increase. You got this. Junior, to tell you you're ready for this. All right. Hello, Ryder. Well, hello. Sexy Lexi. Excuse me. I need to make sure we have everyone's medical files from the Nexus. All right. After launch, and we can catch up properly. You got it. Just as long as you say properly again. <laughs> this is pretty big. And I say, it's the cargo bay. Mm -hmm. Man, this would be place. Uh, it'd be great for that Firefly Skyball game that no one knows the rules to. Mm -hmm. Ryder, chorus up. Finalizing orders, flight plan, command access. Ready when you are. All right, I guess no one wants to talk to me till after we <coughs> take Busting. off. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. So I guess we gotta launch first, and then lift. This looks like where Thane used to hang out. <laughs> Alright, lift up. There's one more. Oh, one more. Oh! Nice. I like how this super advanced uh, alien ship and we still got a shitty couch to watch it on. Oh, of course. It's a college dorm. Lift. 
Oui. <coughs> Damn it, Scotty. We're almost out there, finally. Yes. Speaking of sexy Hello. accents. I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. If no one wants to talk to you, Nick. You must stink. Come on. I'm really popular. Hey. Apparently, you're not. Here we go. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time yeah. for introductions. Salarian. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jab. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Indeed. Luckily, I, lucky I'm here. Yeah, right. We're gonna get us all killed. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. Hmm. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. So do we even need you? It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? Who's got a bottle of champagne to christen this mm -hmm. bitch? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We got this. <laughs> we, we got this, motherfucker. Things seem bad, but we've already beaten the odds. And we'll beat them again. You know it. I know it. So let's show them what we've got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping Not the bad. I give it 0.5 shepherds. Hmm. It's hard to get to a full shepherd. It really is. Comes back five minutes later. Reapers! Godspeed, Pathfinder. And then everyone calls us crazy. You did have to relearn what fucking Reapers are again. Yeah. Well, join us next time on UGO Let's Plays as we finally our, start exploring. As we finally, in the space exploration game, take a goddamn trip through space. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're interested in checking out some of our other content, why not check out the UGO podcast on iTunes or at our webpage, unapologeticgeekout.com. And again, thanks for watching.